Demand for uranium is rising amid the nuclear renaissance, and Cameco is the Western world's largest producer. We got an exclusive look at their Cigar Lake mine in northern Saskatchewan and take you inside. We're about to take this elevator 1,600 feet underground to the world's highest grade uranium mine, so come along with us. This is the jet boring system. It was built and developed here at Cigar Lake. It's the only place in the world where this mining technique is used. The reasons are twofold. The first is that the sandstone above the uranium rich ore body is unstable. So they can't access it from above, which is why they have to access it from below. The second reason is this is the highest grade uranium deposit in the world. And so you can't have workers in close proximity to that high grade uranium ore body. Now, after that red drill bit goes up into the ground, these steel pipes are then placed in and what comes down is mostly liquid substance, which includes all of that uranium, which is then turned into slurry and sent for processing. This is one of Cigar Lake's active development regions. This will give them the ability to access ore further away from the site. So this big drill blasts about two to four meters every single day. And after that happens, all of that rock has to be brought back up to the surface in the same elevator that we took down here earlier today. Cigar Lake developed a specialized jet boring system to access this very high grade of uranium. The system runs along these tracks. Behind me is the water pump station. The specialized jet boring system developed here at Cigar Lake requires highly pressurized water in order to access those ore cavities. It's traveling at about 15,000 PSI. To put that in perspective, a hose in your backyard is 90 PSI. This is 15,000. This is where all of the ore slurry that contains the uranium is pumped. It then is dropped down and it sinks to the bottom with the water above it acting as a radon shield. This machine called the clam then drops down and picks up the uranium from the bottom and then sends it back for grinding before it's eventually pumped up to the surface. This is the slurry load zone. The uranium rich ore has been pumped to the surface and thickened. It's then transported via these pipes. A spigot drops down into these specialized custom tanks that then transports the uranium on this truck about 80 kilometers away to McLean Lake where it's milled into yellow cake. 